Hey everybody, John here. Um, I'm going to be doing a uh, website development informative broadcast, but currently I have to uh, record a 15 minute video. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, good luck to me for filling up a video of 15 minutes. Um, I don't know how clear this is going to be on this video. But I'm going to do as much of it as I can on here. So this uh, video is going to be called Web Intro, Intro to Websites. Uh, Intro to Websites, uh, Website Terminology. Um, there you can see it right there. Hopefully. Okay. So, let's start off with something simple. Everybody should know that WWW stands for World Wide Web. So that should be easy. You know, World Wide Web, that should be a simple one. Um, now, here after this is where it starts getting interesting. Um, I don't know if you notice when you look on your website browsers, you see a thing before that WWW. And it usually goes HTTP dot dot forward slash forward slash which is this right uh there now http means hypertext transfer protocol so um and i will do this in a broadcast so you can see this a lot better i'm just kind of trying to kill 15 minutes um of video time so again, HTTP is Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Now, there is another version of that, HTTPS, which stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. And as you can see here, that has the S on there. So that is what you usually see when you are on your website Doing internet browsing. Now, what is exactly HTTP? In simple words? Well, it's basically just a communication protocol used by the internet to uh, transmit the website pages that you see on the uh, on the web. And I'm not even, you know, uh, getting into details that, you know, I'm just putting it in a nutshell like that. But here, I'll read you the exact term, uh, definition that it comes up with when I um, look this up on Google.com. Uh, what is HTTP in simple words? Hypertext Transfer Protocol, often abbreviated to HTTP, is a communications protocol. Basically what I said. Uh, it is used to send and receive web pages and files on the internet it has or it was developed by a man named Tim Burns or Tim Berners-Lee I'm sorry yep and is now con uh, coordinated by the W3C uh, organization HTTP HTTP version 1.1 is the most common used version today uh all that stuff is just really unnecessary but in a nutshell it is a protocol that the internet uses to transmit those beautiful web pages that we see now as i said before https hypertext transfer protocol secure Basically, it is the same thing as HTTP, but only secured, which means that it is encrypted. So, and that means, that's a whole other thing which I'm not even going to get into encryption. Uh, you should just know that when you, say, go to Amazon.com, or eBay, or uh, TopHatter.com, or Jewel or any of those shopping sites, walmart.com, 
when you're putting in your wonderful credit cards and debit cards, always make sure that you see that HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash because that means the site is secured. If you don't see the HTTPS, then that means it is not secured. And I would not recommend putting your card on there. Um, another way sometimes that you can tell if your website that you are putting your precious debit card and or credit card on is secure is sometimes when you look at the internet, you can see on the status bar, if there is a status bar, um, sometimes it'll have a lock on it. And usually that means that the site is secure. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So... I should have pointed that out on the um, slide also. It looks like I have it on here. Yes, it is. So, if you look right next to the website, there is a lock. That means it is a secured website. If you do not see the lock and HTTPS... Your site is not secure, and you should not put your card on the site. So, that basically, I just described what the difference between HTTP and HTTPS is. One is secure, one is not. Um, <laughs> we're going to keep going. Uh, HTML is basically what these sites are made up of. And HTML, you're asking, what is that? Well, that is hypertext markup language. Yeah, um, that is the code that you do not see in those websites. So, I'm actually going to go to a website on my computer here, and I'm going to bring up, because there's a trick, where you can actually view the stuff called the HTML. So if you go to a website on your computer, on your laptop or whatever, desktop or laptop computer, and you right click, it brings up a menu. You go down to where it says view page source. Watch this. Boom! All of your beautiful graphics and everything that you see just vanishes into code. This, my friends, is called HTML. This is what your beautiful website runs on. Cascading style sheets, uh, JavaScript, all of that is programmed into the HTML. We're at uh, nine minutes. I'm surprised my thing hasn't beeped at me. So, yeah, this is the HTML. This is the nuts and bolts of your website. It, so it holds it together. And right now you're probably looking at this going, this doesn't make any sense to me. But that's okay. It doesn't need to make sense to you. Half of this stuff doesn't make sense to me yet. I just know that that's what it does and how to do it. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to be learning more of it in December, starting on the 13th. Um, yeah, so they have programs like Dreamweaver and, uh, uh, SQL service and a whole bunch of others that you can use to make websites. 
And as you just now will see, I've closed that coding uh, tab. And this is basically what all of that HTML is displaying. This beautiful stuff. How in the world does HTML do that? That's the beauty of hypertext markup language. It seamlessly just transfers everything from this harsh code to... Ooh, wow. <laughs> yep, so that is what that does. Um... As I find out more information, uh, if you subscribe and hit that bell, you can find out more information as well. Um, I do know a bit about cascading style sheets and how to use them. Um, that is going to be one of my upcoming broadcasts on uh, cascading style sheets. Um, once I get 15 minutes on this thing for a video, I will, uh, be redoing it as a broadcast. And so if you would like to join me and my friend Ricky in the broadcast, so you can ask questions in the chat and I will try and answer them to the best of my knowledge. And if I cannot answer them, I will research them and come back with them on the next broadcast. Um, I'm going to also take this time to mention that I have a uh, channel called DJ Jam and John. That is where I will be doing most of my DJing. Um, but for today, I will be doing my jam party on my main channel gamer john l 2020 or gamer john l i think this is what it's called um but i hope to switch it to where i have my gaming on my gaming channel and my website and it stuff on this channel and my djing on my dj channel um wow this is amazing we are at 13 minutes. Almost. So yeah. 13 minutes right now. Uh, I just got to get two more minutes. But that's what we're doing now. Let's take another look at um, another site. So. Um, how can we do this here? Ooh, I got a good one since this is going on YouTube. Let's look at YouTube. All right. So. And now I don't even have to uh, do anything to make my channel except create it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my channel <laughs> and you're going to get to see the HTML behind my channel. That's if this thing ever loads. There it is. Okay. Let's go to my channel. And we got about a few seconds left. As you can see right now, it's just kind of bland. It has nothing really there except for one video. But that'll be more once I get my other video, this one up there. So I'm going to right click again. Go over down to here. View page source. And look at that. All oh, this wonderful HTML. That's putting their YouTube logo on the page and everything else. Looks kind of nasty, don't it? Go here, though. Looks nice. It's getting there. I got I got to do some work on it. 
but it's getting there. Well, that's 15 minutes. Hopefully uh, you guys can join me on my broadcast. Make sure you subscribe. And make sure you hit that bell. Boom, to get notifications. See you soon. Bye.